Uh, and you can add stuff like bubbles and things. So let's have a look at adding some bubbles. Uh, we'll get a paint. So we're going to use circles because that's the shape bubbles are. We'll make them kind of whitish. Now we've got um, surface snap. Don't want that. So um, we kind of want to use draw flex so that we can kind of um, have a really small bubble and it gets like kind of bigger as it goes up. That kind of thing. So I'm gonna zoom out a bit. So I can see like from there to up there and then oh give it a bit of wiggle slowly increase R2 cool so um I'll go studio lighting there you go so you can see it so um So if we give it some impasto so it's not perfectly thin. Um, yeah, no worries. Like that. Um, and then we want to uh, animate it. Well, first let's lower the flex density so we can see what's going on. So I think I'll leave up studio lighting off and give it some glow so we can see it yeah there we go that's really easier to see so um, if you play time and increase the playback speed you can see these bubbles are following that line but um, uh, what you might be inclined to do is turn on pulse and have a short tail uh, that kind of does that um, the problem with that is it kind of twitches and stuff. It's kind of, I'll make it slower actually. Where is it? Oh, it's on there. So you can see like each fleck is becoming, um, there it is. Uh, it's becoming full size and then it's becoming smaller. That's what pulse does. So it kind of looks like it's crawling or like it kind of flickers a bit, which might be what you want for some other effect. But if you want want it to look like a single bubble, then you can use fleck density. Um, and you can turn this all the way down. Yeah, so... If just put it to zero, it will be one fleck. And you can turn that speed up to be whatever speed you want it to be. Cool, and I think we'll make it... Um, make sure it's... Yeah, make it white. There you go. So it seems to be... Yeah, the, the problem is it's not actually... We were looking at it from afar. So um, what I'll do is I'll turn off, or yeah, turn off preview invisibility, and that should. No, I'll just turn that up then. So um, I'll just zoom this up so that it goes from the bottom to the top like that, and ideally you want to be able to make that really thin like that. And it pokes through the top a bit, that don't matter, because it'll only show when we're under here. So then, um, then we can use the duplicates on a plane. So this means there's like a square, and it's making these at random places on that square. So that's what we want, because we want it to come up from the same like base position at the bottom. We can put it in there. Um, so I'll just fill it up so that we can see the edges of it and then tweak that accordingly okay um, 
Now when we play time and we have it the flip density down, you can see they're all going at the same time, uh, which isn't great. We want them to go at slightly different times so it doesn't look so weird. So we can increase the time offset like that. So now they're all going at different times. And then we can, it's a bit too, too much bubbles going on for my liking. So I'll just turn down the copies. And now we've got some nice underwater bubbles going on. Yeah, it can be used for uh, for lots of things. So I actually um, made uh, another effect using the same principle. Um, I'll just use I'll just use this one actually. For this, so I'll turn it way down. Um, and I just like drew a long wiggly line. Doesn't matter if it like meets up at the end because no one will ever see it. Then I do the same thing, less flex density, increase the speed, and that's pretty too fast. Um, put the flex density way down, give it that and that so that um, the start and end aren't really obvious, like if you don't have that, it's like, oh, it's coming from there. So if you do that, they kind of fade in and out. Um, and would you reduce that? And pasto again. Oh, that's ruffle. Give it in pasto, so it's like blobs of stuff. Um, and make it down to one and then repeat that as well. So actually I'll make it so we can see what's going on. For this one you probably want um, a rotational one but not all directions, you just want it that kind of thing maybe. Yeah so what the problem is is it starts from there and it just goes over here so if we move that whole thing over here then the origin of it will change so now it's kind of more even spread uh, and then when you turn it down to just one fleck again you can't see it at all so the density a bit okay so probably want less uh, fewer clones and it's slower And again, you can finesse this however you want, of course. So we just have like a couple of copies and uh, we could do some scale jitter, uh, time offset. So now as you're kind of floating around this place, uh, you see these weird little blobs. So if we make them um, rough and uh, waxy maybe, then we tint them a bit darker. Maybe make them like dark brown like that. Yeah, there we go. So now it looks like, and then we make this the same or a similar color. Then it's like bits of random detritus is just floating around. So as you move through this space, you get some like lighting effects and you get um, bubbles coming up and you get these random floating bits of stuff.